Okay. So, good day class. So, for today, we are going to discuss financial plan. So, this is an important part of your business plan because in here, you will see unsa ang mga cost nga kailangan, andaman, and or asa tamukuha o mga finances to use the in the operation. So, for today, this would be our learning outcome. So, prepare a financial plan for your proposed business. Okay, so let's first define what is financial plan. So financial plan, it is a document containing a person's current money situation and long-term monetary goals, as well as strategies to achieve those goals. Um, also, a business plan, this is a comprehensive evaluation of an invent investor's current and future financial state by using variables, to predict the cash flows, mga asset values, and withdrawal plans. Um, also, business plan is used to create or gather all the components of the business and expressing them in numbers. It could be both for revenue or startup expenses. So, Financial plan should will include with the following. So in your activity, dili ni ninyo himuuntanan. This is just an overview kung unsa gud ang sulod sa business plan. And in doing the financial plan, which is very important part of the business plan, you will need the following. Okay, so your current financial position, um, your capital requirements, mga financial budgets mga projection statements, uh, mga financial ratios, mga fin financial controls, and then mga insurances. So let us first discuss current financial situation. So before starting up a business, um, it is essential to e establish exactly how much personal financing you are able to commit in the business. It is highly desirable to contribute as much as your capital as possible as this gives you control over the business. But if you will need to borrow funds, uh, make sure that you're going to list of all of your personal assets and personal liabilities. The difference is that your, pers your net personal worth and the forms the basis of an application for loans. Okay, magina siya difference since um, if you're going to borrow funds good, dili man sila mo allow ni mo pa hum, o kwarta, if wala po kay um, collateral nga ikahatag, wala kay ika-assure nila nga mabalik ang ilahang money. So very important good nga, you're going to list down all your assets and personal liabilities kay Again, these are very important because these are the basis if pahulamon ka og money or delay. Okay, and also, a financial position, these are the current balances of your recorded, okay, recorded assets, liabilities, and equity of an organization. And all of these information is recorded in the balance sheet, which we will be discussed na to sa sunod na mga slide. Or atong i, ako ipakita ninyo sa sunod na to ng mga slide mga slide. Okay. So again, if wala kay mga assets and personal liabilities, wala kay ikapresent sa bank, okay, more on lang ka o gusto restorya, oh, naaday ko kayo taan dito, na ako yung yuta din, nga, nga nakadako ang hectare. If wala kay ipakita nila nga papil regarding sa imuhanggi pang storya, then you will not be able good to borrow money from them. So again, you'll you will have to determine kung unsa ang current financial position nga naaka so that in the near future or even lang pag start or pag start sa inyong business maka survive mo, di ba? Okay. And the common question here is how much capital man ang need nga invest sa business. Okay? So in answering this question, we really need to have a basis or objective. Dili lang magbana-bana or magtag-antag-anta. Again, dapat na ay basihan ang atong cost or investment. 
So again, dili lang kita magtag na tag na. We have dap na, dapat na atay basis. Okay, so if the business is start up pa lang, so you will need to carefully list all the cost that is needed or ang cost nga required. Okay, so part na siya sa planning na maka-benefit pud ang mga mentors, mga advisors and other business owner in the similar field. And even your family and friends could make a valuable situation regarding on this one. So again, a uh, capital requirement, this is the sum of the funds that your company need to achieve its goal. So here, I will show you table one, and these are the examples of the costs nga ma incur in running the business. So here it is indicated business structure. So ang mga costs nga may incurred like registration, di ba? Especially if um magprocess tama ng business permit, so na nasa yung mga additional requirements. So it required namo ng mga floor plan, it required namo ana and sa so, oman paghimo ni mo sa floor plan nga legal na siya so mukha mo mga engineers or mga architect and also uh, purchase price for business existing if existing na, na siya or like mga desk mga chairs so ang cost ana nga ma-incur uh, vehicles planning equipment so pareha adtong inyong mga business proposal nga um AB Bay suites or katong suite delights Okay, so unsa may mga cost nga ma-incur ana niya. Di ba? Like papalit mo og mga since naiuban na na delivery, free delivery or mag mag sila mga delivery so papalit mo og sakyanan so that maka-deliver mo or ang cost sa building. Okay. And ang and then for display materials like mga brochures or even gani ang mga displayed glass, di ba? Training, so training for yourself and for your staff. Um, short fittings, mga security system. So if ganahan mo magbuta ang CCTV sa inyo store to to protect your store and also for the sa inyo mga customers. And then reference materials or land. Okay, and and if we are going to group this one, we will have the initial cost since you are new in the market you have to consider that you have enough finances behind to cover the first three months of the operation this indicates your earnings mga expenses um any losses or gains um okay so mo na siya mga initial cost So, these are the costs nga magasto ni mo sa wala pa gyud mag-start ang business. Through this, you can come up og pila gyud ang kailangan to finance the business and it is also important nga mahimo maghimo ka og budget. So, initial cost initial cost includes but not limited to this one. Okay, depending na sa inyong operations, operation no sa business. So, these are just some of the examples. Okay? And then opening stocks, mga insurances, um, mga printing and artwork, uh, mga wages. Okay, so mga computer hardware and software. Okay, mga nisila. And this is an example of um, initial cost, a computation. Okay. Okay. And again... So, after identifying the initial cost, so na na mo idea kung pilang kailangan ni mga budget for your business. And it is now time for you to decide sa imuhang budget. Okay, so, an important element of your business plan in short term or even ang annual budget. So, the quantified targets, um, it allows you to measure the performance and you'll be able to identify corrective actions to ensure that your goals and the capitalized is being achieved and an opportunity will happen. Okay, so budget, so it will predict or indicate a future level of business activity it, in terms of monetary quantities um, and in terms of purchases and products sold. 
So budget, these are an estimated base on the past history in the case of existing business. So for a new business, uh, these are prediction based on your research and analysis during compilation of your uh, business plan. So you cannot put up a business without even considering your budget, magyud, no? So dili kay na ako y 1 million okay magput up na kong business. So again na agud kay mga considerations nga kailangan kita on before putting up a business. And one of this is your budget. So if it's enough for how long it will, if if na ka 1 million okay magput up na kag business. Okay, pero kung okay imong kita on okay enough na ni siya nga budget. Pero huna huna on said nimo if for how long it will take. And for how long it will take and how, for how long it will cover from the expenses. Okay, so if your personal budget is not enough, so it will be time to seek advices na sa, sa mga, mga professional advisors or to make actions to attract uh, potential stakeholders. And if you already have a stakeholder, then at least you'll be saved. But for how long you're going to do that one? Okay, so again, in doing the budget, it is very important to include the stakeholders so that you'll be able to achieve all of those, all of these things. Okay, since again, um, involving stakeholders in the budget process will ensure that everyone's efforts are heading towards the same goals. Um, all decision makers in the organization should be involved in the preparations of the budget because it will help achieving all of these um, goals. Okay. So also, these are the people or the person responsible for setting the budget. And it would be depending on the size of the organization. So, owner, the operator, the chef executive officer, the general managers, and even the accountants. Then we have here the type of budgets. So, the size and complexity of the organization determines the mix of these budgets. So, sales budgets, um, these are the itemized or the estimated cost or the estimated income from all areas of the organization. So in large organizations, um, sales budget would be prepared for each department. And variable cost of sales budget, um, this is the estimated cost of the materials and services incurred directly in producing the product or the services sold. Example for this one are those mga raw materials, uh, mga packaging, mga wages, mga commissions, mga utilities, and other. Ongoing fixed expenses budget, these are the budget, project, the cost of items na dili directly related in producing the product or services nga nahalin or sold. These are costs incurred irrespective of how much is produced, okay, such as mga vehicles, mga insurances, mga admin and administrations. And then capital expenditure budget, um, these are the budgets that is set out the estimated cost of purchasing, um, like, rep like replacing some material, like pag repair, okay, pag repair sa equipment or sa vehicle. And then cash budgets, this refers to the receipts and cash payments. And then lastly is the budgeted profit and loss statements. So these are the forecast of the estimated gross and net of the profit or losses of the organization. Uh, it brings all the operating budgets for the period. So kwanisha. Uh, this is a tool used to take action if the operations is not going well as planned. Okay. Okay, so Monisha. So for your business plan, you'll be required to do this one. So here, so um, uh, cash budget projection, uh, mga projected statement of financial, mga projected statement of financial positions. So I'm going to show an example. I believe that you already discussed this. So we'll just 
discuss it, it briefly. Okay, so here we have a cash budget projections. So it would, would be better to make reports in the Excel since um, Excel kay kanang automatic na, o oh, nanam na siya computations. So dali na lang ang pag, pag, pag himo ana, and I believe you already done that thing. Okay, so cash budget projections. So there it shows ang month, mga receipts. So receipts refer to the revenue for every month. And then the, the expenses. Okay, so actually this is very good because you'll be able to identify if your revenue is enough ba na siya to sustain or to cover the expenses nga na incur sa inyong operation. And then it will help you project yun kung unsa ang kailangan i-project din yun sa inyong um, business. So here. So also, um, cash budget projection, it will help you develop your projected statement or your financial uh, performance, the profit and loss. Okay, so I will not be discussing this one by one because I believe you have taken this up already. Okay. So maona siya. So I have here an example. So na siya yung mga figure. So this is an example. This is number 31, 20, 2011. So your cash is 75,000. Yung mga account receivable. So account receivable, this re refers to the balance or the money. Nga ang firm for goods and services delivered and used but not yet paid. So mga utang ni siya. Dili ni siya ang inyuhang utang but ang utang na ang inyuhang nagipa utang okay so ang inventory and then your expenses ana okay so mo na siya ang continuation okay so after doing all those um, financial reports you are going also to understand the financial ratios okay so financial ratios Okay, so mo na siya ang financial ratios. So, financial ratios um, has different types. So, first, it is the liquidity ratios. So, liquidity ratios, um, these are the um, financial, uh, liquidity ratios demonstrate the company's ability to pay its debt or other liability. Okay, so if it does not have enough short-term assets to cover short-term obligations, then it does not generate enough cash flow to cover the cost. It may face a financial problem. Okay, and then also of uh, liquidity ratios, this is an extra important with stocks. Okay, since the smaller and newer companies often have tremendous difficulties paying all their bills before their business becomes stable and established. So, mone siya ang mga type sa liquidity ratios. The current ratios, it is expressed by the formula on the uh, right side if you are facing in your screen. So, Current ratios, the quick asset ratios, and then working capital. In a way, dili man po din ninyo himuan sa inyo hang laboratory activity. Okay, the second type of financial ratio is the activity ratio. So, it demonstrates the company's efficiency in operations. So, here you can see how well the company uses its resources, such as assets availability to generate fan, funds, I'm sorry, or to, to generate sales. A few examples of activity ratios are this one. So the asset turnover, the stock turnover, the debtor stock, the debtor's turnover. And then the last one is the profitability ratios or usually calculated as percentages. So when we say profitability ratios, um, it tells investors about a company's profit which explains why they are frequently referred to as professional profitability ratios. It, clear, it tells the clear picture of the company's 
profitability at the various stages of the operations. So this includes gross profit, um, net profit ratio, and then the return of investment. Okay. So the last one is the long-term solvency ratios. So when we say leverage or long-term solvency ratios, mm -hmm. this is called a leverage ratio also. So this is, again, the ability to pay its long-term debt. Di ba kaya ang first na ratio is mag-identify mag man to siya o ang ability niya is to identify man o short-term nga debt. Ang kanis siya, yung identify kung makaya ba sa usa kang company mo bayad sa o long-term nga utang. It also examines the company's dependence on debt for its operation and the likelihood it can repay its obligation. Okay. So, after identifying your financial ratios, you're going to have the financial control na. Okay? So, financial control, these are the procedures or policy in which the organizations need to monitor and control interaction for allocating your financial resources. This is very important core of the resources management and its operations so that um, the company will able to identify in which area they're going to control in terms of their finances. Um, the balance sheet, the income statement, and then the profit and loss statement and the cash flow statement being shown previously, they are the most important financial controls because there you will be able to see good if you are gaining, um, you are gaining or you're having a profit from you're having a profit in your operations and each report will give the manager a different perspective of the insights and if makita nila dito nga wala nila na achieve ang ilang goal then a financial control will happen okay so these are some types of the financial control so profit controls so here um Regular detailed profit reports must be made. And then financial ratio analysis. Um, this is another tool to pinpoint strengths and weaknesses, especially when compared against benchmarks such as industry average. And then cash flow controls. These are the projected cash flow that kailangan i-monitor so that makontrol ang paggawas sa kwarta. Okay? Na-identify diha ang flow sa money in terms of shortages, in terms of expenses. Okay? And then the last one is the financial position controls. Um, it is very important to regularly review of the statement of, of the financial positions. Um, very important nga monitor siya so that you'll be able to identify unsang nga klase nga amount ang na-release and then unsa ang financial status sa inyong business. And also, Okay, so more to siya. <laughs> okay. So very important din nga mag-conduct og financial control in every business, especially if makita dito sa ilaha mga makita sa mga reports nga wala gyoy um less or wala yung revenue nga gain and then mas daghan na hinuhan ang utang nga na incurred. Okay, so in doing so, mga financial controls like eh, less and expenses, na magali uban gani nga kanang mo iban sila og tao just to control their financial per dili kay sila mo bayad di ba di kay sila mo 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 paswildo so mag iban sila og taw and then mo iban sila og mga like ibis pila ka machines ay nag operate iba na nila ang ang pila ka kuan nga nag operate so that just to save and to control their expenses so aside from doing financial controls you have also to consider business insurances okay so you will need to arrange appropriate insurances before you commence the operations. Um, uh, financial uh, business insurance policy includes 
the building. So this would also called as the property insurance. Okay, it insures against loss and damage of the location of the business and its contents. Like for example, masunog ang building, di ba? So since na kay insurance, at least na kay makuha, dili kay ma zero balance yut ka, di ba? And also like mga casualty insurance, like sa kanang during the production. So na ay usa ka employee ninyo nga nga na inahitabo nga something or let's just say na putol and tudlo. Okay, since since na na, na may insurance ang inyong company and even ang inyong mga tao na may mga insurances, so it would help, di ba? Then also liability insurance. So this refers to the income or mga protections. So it insures liability legally imposed upon your business it protects your business when the business is sued for negligence okay so another insurances like mga health insurances okay so very important niya sa inyo mga tao especially if your operations is concerned bitaw sa operation or is concerns sa health sa inyo mga tao and another one is the life and disability insurance so it protect your business from the death or the disability of your employees. For example, if one partner carries a life insurance, a policy naming the partnership as beneficiary. So if that partner dies, the business has planned proper properly, the proceeds of the policy can be used by the business to buy the share of the descendants' partnership, interest, or the state. So again, very important, yun na siya ang business. Okay, so those are the things that you're going to to learn in financial plan. So again, more on money goodness. Siya. So when we say financial plan, um, this are this is we're talking about here the the money that you're going to put up the business and unsa put ang inyohang profit or ang revenue ninyo in a long run, and also you'll be able to identify if for how long your um, projected budget will cover. Okay, usually, mangod, if bago pa lang ka nga, business nila na siya kay booming in the first three months. So you have to consider and you have to identify if for how long your budget will, will cover the expenses. Okay? So for your laboratory activity six, you're going to prepare a financial plan for your proposed business. So again, um, in doing the activity, you're, you're going to brainstorm with your classmates or your group mates. And then, of course, the, the activity is to be submitted individually. Good, diba? And then, delete na ninyo yung i-present since wala na gitay time kay midterm or oh, final examination. Na. Okay. So, here, this, are, this is the guidelines. So, introduction, you're going to define your financial plan, uh, discuss its importance to the development of your business, and then briefly discuss the elements of the operational plan and the operational planning process. Okay? And then for your objective, okay, copy lang the objective and then the methodology. Okay? So, same lang niya sa inyo mga previous nga um, activity. And then the result, so you're going to have your initial startup cost. So, identify ninyo kung pila ang inyong startup sa inyong business. And then, after identifying, you give a breakdown of the cost. So, sa mga possible na cost na ma-incur sa inyong business. Like, for example, ang inyong, like, for example, ang inyong mga cost, like, katong sa mga, sa mga cakes, no? Um, sa mga inyong mga cost, add to, like, for the equipment, pilang inyong cost, like, for the, for the production, pila inyo hang cost. And even sa katong co-life hotel, so you're going to identify kung sa mga cost na kailangan sa inyong mga rooms, sa inyo hang buildings, ana. And then, operational cost. Okay. So identify the cost of the operation. So mahatag yapon mag breakdown. Okay. And then, make an annual budget. So annual budget means annual, good, that is good for one year. And then sources of fund. So this aman mo, since nana mo yung mga possible nga mga cost, and then nana mo yung annual nga budget, this aman yung gikuha ng inyong hang budget. So kana inyong ipakita diha. And then learning challenges and suggestions. Okay, so mana yung activity for your financial plan. And then I will not give a deadline for this one. So ako lang siya is set as open. Wala siya deadline. 
so that you will have time to make the activity. But of course, you have to consider nga ka ng makasabit mo before ang final examination. Okay? So, that would be all for the financial plan. If you have any questions, so you can message me directly. Good. Okay, mo tubag raman ko ninyo. Diba? Okay, so that would be all. So, thank you. And God bless.